Almost 80% of informal cross-border trade is carried out by women who are susceptible to being cheated, bribed and even harassed because they lack information. One of the areas that we're trying to focus on is how can we enhance the, the capacity of women to formalize their businesses and actually take uh, advantage of all the new opening up of trade within regional integration. Majority of these women end up losing most of their startup capital which they could have obtained through hardship. But now a platform that will enable women in the informal sector to access credits and find labor ground to trade more easily across the East African borders has been established. Many businesswomen are said to be still very vulnerable and could easily be manipulated into taking the wrong decisions. But platforms like this will not only offer financial assistance, but also help them in business skills. So that they can play in the big league, for example, in infrastructure development, in petroleum mining, etc., the big businesses, so that women stop working only at the handicraft level, at the you know, informal cross-border trade level. We're going to also create a database, um, actually a, a database that will include uh, you know, the names of all the women entrepreneurs within the region so that it will not be difficult for us to find one another and for folks looking for products and services to identify the right women entity or women run entity to uh, provide a particular product or service. The East African Women in Business platform was launched in Arusha with the East African Development Bank providing the biggest funding. The money will be channeled through the chairpersons of the associations of women groups already in existence. We need to craft um, a special uh, initiative that targets those women and that, that, that that's in a way addresses the gap that is there currently in all the funding mechanisms that are targeting women. The initiative is designed to reach more women than is expected and to address the gaps in established funding mechanisms that target women groups. Isabel Nakiria, NTV, Arusha, Tanzania.